In this video, we're going to find the p-value and test statistic for a two-sample hypothesis test for the mean using z-statistics with stat crunch. Well, that's a lot to say. So we have a two-sample test for the mean, and we're using z. We're going to focus on number 12. So if you kind of glance at the question, uh, it says a sample of 12 winter days in Denver had a mean pollution index of 43, and then a sample of 14 winter days in Englewood had a mean pollution index of 36. And right here, assume that sigma 1 is 21 and sigma 2 is 15. So these are the population standard deviations. And the question is talking about two different means. So we know to use z statistics. Because we have the population standard deviation, we're going to use z. So over here in StatCrunch, you just go over to where it says stat. And then you left click on stat. And then you go to z stats. And we have two samples, right? Things from Denver and Englewood. So we pick two sample and we select with summary. So again, it's stat, z stats, two sample, with summary. So we left click on with summary and then we carefully go through the problem and enter the information. So a sample of 12 winter days. So that's the sample size. So that goes here in this box that says size had a mean pollution index of 43. So that goes in the box here that says mean. Then it says a sample of 14 winter days in Englewood. So that's the sample size for Englewood. So that goes here in this box that says size. Had a mean pollution index of 36. So that goes up here where it says 36. Then it says assume that sigma sub 1 is 21. That's the population standard deviation for Denver. So that goes up here. And then sigma sub 2 is 15. So that goes down here in this box. The last sentence should tell us what to do here. So it says, do the data indicate that the mean, should say, does the data indicate that the mean pollution index of Englewood is different from. So because it says different from, we leave this at not equal to, right? So because it says different from, we leave it. Then we click compute and we should have the answers. So there's the test statistic, 0.96, z equals 0.96. That's the test statistic. And there's the p-value, 0.3355. So the p-value is equal to 0.3355. So we've got the test statistic and the p-value. So one more time in case you missed it, you go to stat, z, to sample, and then with summary. And then you just enter all the information, and usually you can use the last sentence to figure out what goes there. So I hope that made sense.